From This Day Forward is a local nonprofit organization that strives to demonstrate the power of Christ's love by educating, encouraging, and mentoring those in need as they celebrate life events. Here today to tell us more about her business is Heather Krimple. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Yes. Excited to be here. <laughs> Excited to have you yeah. because your organization sounds so interesting because you <laughs> offer <laughs> services. <laughs> Um, a variety of services yeah, yeah. that people may not have heard of. So give us an overview. Yeah, so we are unique. We're kind of defining the terms of an events ministry um, per se. So we offer uh, planning assistance for those that maybe are planning some sort of special event like a wedding, birthday, graduation, uh, vow renewal. We've even helped with memorials before. Um, but we help just connect to other vendors if they're kind of lost in that process mm -hmm. or just there to help with whatever questions they might have. And then we also offer decor rental. We have an entire mm. warehouse full of items, a, a variety yeah. <laughs> of items um, that you can rent out. And then we also have a boutique in the Huntertown area that offers gently used formal wear, shoes, jewelry, mm. um, at really affordable prices. Um, yeah. our, our, we're very passionate about Let's celebrate that special day, but please don't go into debt to do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. which is great. So that supplement, uh, supplement support, rather, mm -hmm. you don't really hear so much about that, especially in the way of ministry, yeah. which is serving the community. So what made you create this concept? Um, so my husband is a worship leader, and he was uh, serving at a church in Columbia City mm -hmm. many years ago. And he had a young lady who was a foreign exchange student from Germany, and she was on his praise team. She graduated, went home, but was coming back to visit her host family in the States and wanted a traditional American wedding. Yeah had no idea how to go about planning something, did not have the funds to do something. And then her host family, um, we watched them struggle and wrestle with, they felt like they didn't have adequate funds mm -hmm. to do a traditional ceremony reception. So um, we had so much leftover stuff from our wedding. Um, my mom and I love to just collect things in general, just you never know when you're gonna need them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so we helped her out um, with what we had and just the genuine, humble gratefulness from them kind of sparked an idea. Yeah. Um, we never thought it would be us doing it. We were mm -hmm. both working full time at the, at the time, um, but God kept knocking on our hearts. Um, and then after that, I got reacquainted with a childhood friend who uh, her future mother-in-law was diagnosed with stage four cancer. Mm -hmm. So they were moving everything up, trying to plan and also process the diagnosis and all of that. And so going through that experience, I'm like, oh my gosh, what, what do you do in that instance when you still want to celebrate because postponing is not an option sometimes, yeah. um, but then you thought you had several months to a year to plan and save. So yeah. that again sparked some more ideas. And then finally, my mom and I just said, you know what, God's saying, this mm. is something we need to do. Let's do it. Um, I have a background, I'm a theater major, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then also um, have a background in special needs and teach therapeutic horseback riding lessons. So mm -hmm. I am not a business person <laughs> at all. So it was terrifying, yeah. <laughs> terrifying. A lot of Googling mm -hmm. and praying, and here we are. <laughs> yes, so, well, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I think that, you know, becoming a business person is just by practice, right? Yeah, <laughs> gotta, learned a lot. I have learned a lot. <laughs> yes. And so how exactly does your business work as yeah. far as the services? Is this something that is completely complementary or is there just a fee involved, but it's less? That's a great question. So the way our process works, if you're interested in any of our services like decor rental or planning assistance, um, we have an application on our website, mm -hmm. just asks a couple questions to kind of tell us what's going on. Is this an emergency situation? Do you have a budget? Do you not have a budget? Mm -hmm. um, what kinds of items are you looking for? Because we do not have everything thing under the sun. We are not for everybody because we just cannot accommodate. I wish I had a million warehouses that yeah. I could just have everything. Um, but uh, we have a lot. And so what we do is we meet with each individual, um, kind of discuss what their needs are, 
what does budget look like. Um, we usually ask for some form of service fee um, just because we would like our clients to have kind of some skin in the game too and mm -hmm. be held accountable. It's not just a free ride, um, mm -hmm. but it's very much individual, individually based mm -hmm. on circumstances and budget. And every once in a while we do have someone where there is some crazy life challenges that there is no budget whatsoever. And that's where we like to build up our scholarship fund mm -hmm. um, to be able to apply that and say, you know what, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Enjoy your day. Celebrate with your loved ones because um, mm -hmm. oftentimes there's some craziness going on there. Someone's sick or someone's um, getting deployed suddenly. And so we'd really like the focus to be on the reason for the celebration versus stressing out. How am I going to pay for decorations? How am I going to pay for a dress? How am I going to... I gotta put it on a credit card or take out a personal loan, and we mm. no, we don't want that. Yeah. Um, all of our proceeds go right back in towards the organization. Mm -hmm. We are 100% volunteer driven. We do not have any paid staff. Mm. Um, and as far as our boutique goes, anybody is welcome to shop in our boutique anytime during our regular hours. Mm -hmm. So please come see us. Yes, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. And you actually have an event coming up, your fashion show. So yeah, so that. we are super excited. Um, it's called the Great Gown Makeover. Uh -huh. We started it last year, so we had so much um, popular demand that we decided to do it this year, but put a spin on it with doing a fashion show. Mm -hmm. So we have about 21 vintage dresses, I guess you could say, yeah. or outdated dresses, mm -hmm. but not vintage enough to be cool vintage, <laughs> um, <laughs> that um, we were trying to find a purpose for. So we um, decided, you know what, what if we give an opportunity for students, amateurs, and professionals in the community to take one of these gowns and completely redesign it into something new. Oh, okay. um, and it does not have to be a wedding dress, just mm -hmm. something wearable. So um, the dresses have been dispersed, um, and we have about 28 participants um, between students, professionals, amateurs, and some of them are on teams. Mm -hmm. um, we've partnered with the Carroll High School uh, fashion and textiles class. Mm -hmm. um, so that is all going to get revealed. The final projects are going to get revealed in a fashion show format on March 9th. Yes. Um, so we're super excited. It turned out so amazing, so creative, way beyond my abilities. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have such talent in our community mm -hmm. and we just want to showcase that. And then also um, hopefully spark some ideas of just because something doesn't look like your vision right now, that mm -hmm. you might be able to make some tweaks, reuse, repurpose, and recycle, and it can be even better than what you anticipated. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That sounds so cool. What a cool concept. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it'll be exciting to see the final reveal yes. for the so dresses. Yes, it's, so um, it's open to the public. Mm -hmm. um, tickets are just $10, okay. and it's a fundraiser for us as well, but come support these individuals because it it's going to be amazing. Yes. <laughs> I, if, if it's anything like last year, we have even more participants this year wow. and even more dresses this year. Mm -hmm. um, and it will be at Carroll High School this year. Carroll High School. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Heather. No problem. It's been a joy to learn about your business. Thank you. <laughs> And if you would like more information about From This Day Forward, we'll have their website listed below and also check out their upcoming fashion show. We'll be right back. 